Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Kenyans are eagerly waiting whatever is going to happen on Friday, date 7th July. As yesterday, Raila Odinga was in Sierra County, Ugunja constituency, where they had a function there. And I have a speech of Raila Odinga, a very inclusive one that you are going to understand and uh, to have the picnic, whatever might happen, the 7th of July, this Friday. As we are waiting and the response we've also gotten from the Kenya Kwanzaa government, that they will not accept any kind of malicious type of demonstration, protest, and picketing where the property of Kenyans, the way they are seen, and also chaos and violence is going to be from this kind of mass action or rather Saba Saba Day. Now I want you to watch Raila Hamuro Odinga, then we continue. <laughs> After watching that video, I've realized something very crucial. Raila Moludinga is a politician that when you look at his statements, is always hitting the government of the day. And he is a man that even a single word from him is giving a current government, government a sleepless night and they are panicked on whatever might happen as the people's revolution is loading across the Republic of Kenya. Part of last week, after Raila Odinga went to Kamkunji, where they came out announcing their resolutions, I realized that different individuals and personalities have come out to give their opinion on what can happen. As I read what Kabando wa Kabando said, I saw what Ahmed Nasir said, I saw what Mutai Nguni has said, and several others, not only those, but also several Kenyans. What they are saying, this is a very unfortunate message, message to this Kenya Kwanzaa government. Because what they are being told, that this movement is no longer a movement of Raila Amulu Binga and his team. It is a movement of Kenyans who believe that either, number one, they never voted for this government because they know what was going to happen. At least those who never voted for William Ruto and his government, they had already prepared what was going to come. Number two, we have those who voted William Ruto in, but they are shocked. They don't believe. And in fact, they are so disappointed, frustrated, not knowing whatever to do, as already William Ruto has already betrayed them. Now, number three, there are those who voted, who never came out voting. Either they never came out voting for Raila, they never came out voting for William Ruto. What they were doing, they never decided or they never had the candidate. So they saw Raila Odinga unsuitable, William Ruto was unsuitable. So those teams, they are joining the movement. And this movement, this is how Kenya Kwanzaa are panicked. Do you remember what happened in 2017? If you clearly understand what happened in 2017, when Raila Odinga was welcomed from airport all the way to CBD, can you have that picture? 
Can you have a picture of Saba Saba Day during the regime of Moi? I know some people are just seeing Raila Odinga's team just saying that the Saba Saba Day is going to be a day of Kenyans. And some are saying that this is just hot hair type of threat. But it might be different. Why? Because already Raila Odinga and his team, they were convinced after Kenyans are the one that requested them that it is the time for action. It is not a time to keep quiet. Because as much as we are going to keep quiet, these people are going to indulge on our issues as their benefit and to their interest. But something that you must understand also from the people, they depend on that person whom they never came out voting for him. And that is why at times I disagree with the Kenyans because if when you're seeing something is now difficult, the government of the day is not favoring you after even voting for them, endorsing them, singing their narratives, hustler, hustler. Now you've come to your senses that now it is Raila Moludinga who always rescue you by him being tear gassed by his, uh, with, together with his um, supporters, it is unfair. But again, Raila Odinga is a type of a leader. And this I've said many times. He's not going on the street because he wants something. Even if today a 2 kg, or even let us say, even if 1 kg of sugar will be a thousand Kenya shillings, Raila Odinga is, can afford that. But we as Kenyans, we cannot afford one kg of sugar at 1,000 Kenyan shillings. They can afford. So when Raila Odinga is going to storm the street, it is because of the benefit of Kenyans. Look at what Raila Odinga and his team has fought for, for a long period of time, since 1990, where the Saba Saba Day started. Raila Odinga and his colleagues, Akino Matiba, James Orengo, Peter Nyang Nyomo, you know, and others, they were arrested so that we can have this multi-partisan where we were having a one single party state that you could even not do anything. So as we speak now, this Saba Saba Day, it is for Kenyans. It is not for Raila Odinga. It is not for William Ruto. It is to ensure that the voice of the people is going to be listened to by this Kenya Kwanza government. Ladies and gentlemen, after that short message, what are your thoughts? What are your picture towards whatever might happen uh, on Friday? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Please ensure that you subscribe to this channel. And again, you ensure you like this video. When you like this video, you support this video. And also, don't forget to drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.